Hey y'all, hey, welcome or welcome back to Tiffany with Purpose, where I provide faith-based content with purpose and inspire you to do the same. I always share according to what the Lord places on my heart. And today, this is a prophetic word that I'm really so excited to share because it is exciting. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna dig right into this thing. So last night, in part of my dream, I saw... Okay, in real life, like this is a real life thing that I own. There's a train that spells my name and each piece of the train is an entire letter. Okay, and so in the dream, I was seeing that the train, I was just seeing it, right? But I looked closely and one of the Fs in my name is missing, specifically the second F in my name was missing in the train, all right? This is a train that my mom got us in childhood. My sisters and I each have one that spells out our name, but I saw it in the dream last night. Honestly, forgot all about it, for real. And ended up going to my parents' house um, this evening. And my nephew, he's three, he's playing, he wants to play. And he tells me that there's some, Tati, there's the, go get the ball from the closet. I was like, the ball in the closet? Now, usually, I, I just pull a, you know, a quick little reverse psychology and be like, oh no, you have to go get it. <laughs> Usually I do that and make him get it himself. But this time I was like, I'm going to go along with it. I literally almost never actually go along with it. But I decided to go along with it and it's in the closet and this is my old room. And so I go get the ball out of the closet and um, I look over and there's like this shelf in there. Why is one F from my name train sitting on top of it? None of the other letters are there. I didn't even like look around to see how close in proximity they were. That F was sitting on top of the shelf. Y'all, that was so loud. And like I said, I had forgotten about that dream. But when I saw the F, the Lord brought that vision right back to me clearly because it had just happened last night. So I'm like, oh my gosh, what are you talking about? Because clearly you're talking. Here we go. This is what I found. So three things that the Holy Spirit kind of made me key in on. One, F is the sixth letter of the alphabet. And so part of my study included learning about the sixth letter of the Hebrew alphabet. F is the sixth letter of the alphabet. It was the second F in my name that was missing. So the fourth letter in my name was missing. So I also studied the fourth number in the Hebrew alphabet. And I have two Fs in my name. Okay. I have two Fs in my name. So I found this scripture and I'm going to give it without context first and then I'll give you the context. This is from Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 18. It shall not seem hard when you set him free for he has given you six years with double the service of a hired man. So the Lord your God will bless you in whatever you do. Okay, even with no context, this is good stuff. We already talked about how this 2024 is a year that is all about freedom. Um, so being set free, he has given you six years, the sixth letter with double the service. I have two F's in my name of a higher name of a hired man. So the Lord your God will bless you in whatever you do. Now let's give the context. This is Deuteronomy chapter 15. And this particular chapter is talking about the sabbatic year. Let me read you what verse one and two say about the sabbatic year. At the end of every seven years, you shall grant a remission of debts. This is the manner of remission. Every creditor shall release what he has loaned to his neighbor. He shall not exact it of his neighbor and his brother because the Lord's remission has been proclaimed. Y'all, the Lord is canceling debts. And I want you to know that he means that spiritually. And he also means that like literally financially. And I can speak from personal experience, which is why also I knew it was important for me to share this, that there are already some things in play in my own personal life concerning this word. Um, and there's one thing that I am putting big faith on the Lord. And I have a bunch of people joining me in prayer about uh, for some things that just like disappear. But the Lord, for him to tell me this today, I'm, he's letting me know I'm going to do that thing. Um, also, he said the other day that he is doing the impossible thing. So I just have really high faith that y'all this is for real now in the particular verse that it was talking about it was referring to someone who was uh serving another um i'll read the verses it's 12 through 18 if your kinsman a hebrew man or woman is sold to you 
then he shall serve you six years, but in the seventh year, you shall set him free. When you set him free, you shall not give him away empty handed. You shall furnish him liberally from your flock and from your threshing floor and from your wine vat. You shall give to him as the Lord your God blessed you. You shall remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt and the Lord your God redeemed you. Therefore, I command you this day, this today, it shall come about if he says to you, I will not go out from you because he loves you and your household since he fares well with you, then you shall take an all and pierce it through his ear into the door, and he shall be your servant forever. You shall do likewise to your maidservant. It shall not seem hard to you when you set him free, for he has given you six years with double the service of a hired man. So the Lord your God will bless you in whatever you do. All right, so this is talking about freedom, and it's talking about debt cancellation okay okay here's some other things that the lord used to kind of speak more into this word when i said oh studied the sixth letter of the hebrew alphabet it is the letter called vav it is the shape of a hook and also when the word when it's used in front of a word it transforms the past into the future or the future into the past okay when you use this letter in the front of a word it changes the tense of that word like future tense past tense the past into the future and the future into the past and so the lord was just speaking to me a divine reversal this letter being shaped like a hook it was also significant to me because one of the first like visions that I had that was like super like, oh my gosh, I was talking with the Lord in this thing was back in 2021, 2022, the summer of 2022, I was on a boat. I had a lot of fish and then I heard something snap and I looked and all of my fish were getting out. And so I'm yelling to the boats next to me like, hey, something's catching the fish. And on the boat next to me, there's Jesus. And he has this huge lot of fish on his boat. And like, literally, they're being held back by his presence. But I know in the dream, as soon as he gives the command that all of those fish that were on his boat were going to jump onto mine. He showed me, he literally was speaking to me and showed me that the fish that I had that had gotten out, he said they had to be purified. I'm taking these from you. And he was showing me like, and now I'm seeing this happen, that those fish had to go through a certain process. They had to go through a certain area of the water. They were completely purified. And once that purification process was done, that he was bringing it back to me. So he was bringing that back to my mind in this letter. He's saying, I'm bringing it back what was taken is coming back to you and it's coming back to you whole It's coming back purified It's coming back the way that it needs to be and on top of that i have more to give you let me add some more to this let me add some more to this the fourth letter is oh my gosh i don't have it pulled up but the fourth letter of the hebrew alphabet it represents doors it also represents the word poor those being poor of spirit those being lowly of spirit poor meaning like you're in a state of realizing you have nothing without the lord that there's absolutely nothing that you have without the lord and that's so crazy because that is an utterance that has just been pouring out of my spirit daily these last couple of weeks where I'm just expressing that to the Lord. There's nothing that I have, God, without you. Nothing that I have without you. And so it's all of this. It's like he's opening the door for this financial blessing, for this whatever blessing. Because I don't think that, personally, I don't think that's all financial. Um, wherever something has been taken from you in your life, he's restoring all of those things. And y'all, come on. He's doing it 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 okay yesterday I was having a moment with the Lord and I was I was sad and I was sharing that with the Lord and I, you know there was just a lamenting in my spirit and I'm talking it out with the Lord I'm saying this is exactly how I feel but I'm like however Lord you have done such beautiful things in my heart in my mind in my life that I will not allow the enemy to steal any of the glory therefore I will rejoice therefore I will walk in peace therefore I will be glad therefore I will lift up things giving and the lord is ministering these things to me right he's like giving me this understanding as i'm also 
pouring out to him, like sharing with him was in my heart. He's telling me this. And then I heard in the spirit, he said, the glory that is coming is greater. The glory that is coming is greater. And I knew loosely that that was a scripture, but it specifically was Romans 8, 18, which says, for I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that is to be, re that is to be revealed to us. Now, in context of the scripture, it's talking about uh, the coming of the Lord. It's talking about the children that he's raising up right after that for the anxious longing of creation eagerly awaits for the revealing of the sons of God. Um, and so that's what the context of the scripture is. But in the context of the conversation that I was having with the Lord, he was letting me know that what I was feeling in that particular moment would not, is not even worthy to compare to what he is about to do in my life. And I want you guys to receive that for yourselves. If you're finding yourself in a similar place of like, you're just lamenting some things. There are some things that are just like, <laughs> hey, I'm a little bit sad about Talk to the Lord about it, but receive this word. The suffering that you're feeling right now is not to compare to what the Lord is about to do. And he is doing great and mighty things. And I'm excited about it because y'all, for real, he is doing great and mighty things. And so receive this for yourself. First of all, test the spirits and make sure you go to the Lord and say, Lord, is this being revealed by your spirit? Holy Spirit, is this from you? Spirit of truth, are these the words that you have spoken to this child? And if so, Lord, if you say yes, then I attach myself to this thing for you have spoken that this is a time where you are canceling debts, Lord. And I ask you to do that for me because of your faithfulness, Lord. Cancel my debts too in that is all that that is okay i have another half of a word that's coming but i didn't get to the bottom of this honestly i do think that it relates but i just need to study it out a little bit more something about the return of the covenant okay so that's coming we're going to talk about it the return of the covenant god is just doing divine reversals he is restoring and he is giving more than you can think or imagine he's just 20 out of 10. Okay. Okay. Consecrate yourself to him. Really get into his presence because you don't want to miss out on these blessings. That's all that I have for now. You guys be great in the strength of the Lord. Until next time.